let's talk about how we can create an x-ray vision. All right, so there are many ways to uh, go about this. One of the main ways that you may think of is just putting a shader on the screen. And that can certainly give you better, uh, more unique results, but you can achieve a uh, goal, I guess you can say, like this very easily. And not only that is, you don't have to use it for an x-ray style like this, right? Um, you could use it to, let's say, um, uh, maybe you need like an actual x-ray of a character in the background, right? You can actually put a skeleton inside of a character, place this, you know, make sure we have the, the black background here, take a screenshot, and there you go. You just created a texture for, uh, an x-ray, uh, object that's hanging up in maybe one of your rooms or levels or areas, whatever, right? But on the other side, you could also have something like this where you can see through the walls, kind of like uh, the Batman Arkham games, right? He activates his detective mode and then he can, he, it's basically like an x-ray vision, right? You can see through objects, you can see all the enemies regardless of how far they are. Only that obviously goes a little further using shaders and highlights more objects. Um, you could also use this, uh, this look for maybe a heist kind of game where you allow the character or the user to plan out areas right so you can have a building here and you'd be able to see all the rooms the entrances and you could plan it out so there's multiple use cases for this it doesn't have to be an x-ray vision i'm just going to show it to you as an x-ray vision and then it's up to you how you want to uh, use this all right <clears> hmm <throat> So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my project settings, input map, and I'm going to create a button for this. I'll call it x-ray. Whoops. It should be down here. I'll add this x-ray. And sure, I'll go ahead and just call it x. So I got my x key bound to the action x-ray. And we'll use that for this effect. All right. Now, if, if I were to go ahead and play this, this effect isn't going to stay because we're just previewing this. And the way I'm previewing this is just up here in this perspective uh, option here with the three dots. And this is called overdraw. Now you can display only lighting. Uh, you can look at unshaded. You got a bunch of uh, options down there. In the more advanced things, you can look at the wireframe of an object. And of course, normal is what you'd be used to. So there's a lot of things that you can mess with here. So you can create specific um, looks, I guess you could say. For example, you could take a look at, oh, that's not going to show. Um, let's go with, um, I don't know, just randomly pick normal buffer. So there you go. You can view everything like a normal map now, right? So you can, you can create these kind of interesting looks just based off of some of the things that are built in here. Now, obviously some of them are going to be more useful than others, which is why I'm going to show you something like overdraw. And how we can actually use that. Alright, so I'm just going to go into my script. And inside of my input here. I'm just going to have an if input is action. I'm going to go with just pressed. And mine's going to be x-ray. Because remember that's what I named my option. And when this happens, I'm going to go ahead and toggle. So first I need to get my viewport. And we need to set that, right? So get, get viewport dot, um, now I believe it is debug draw property. And all we have to do is just set, set this to, and you'll see this whole, all of these uh, pop up. And these are all of our options that we saw in that drop down. Viewport dot debug underscore draw underscore overdraw. All right, so now when we play this, we can take a look, and as soon as I hit the X key, boom, now we have this X-ray vision, and we can see through that wall. Now, the issue here is we can't toggle back and forth, so that's unfortunate. So we're going to have to go ahead and check that. All right, and I think just a match statement will probably suit this just fine. 
Alright, so I'll go ahead and say view uh view var uh DM for draw mode. Alright, and then I'll match DM. DM will be set to whatever this is. And now we can go ahead and put this in, right? So say if it's overdraw, then we can go ahead and set this to normal. Which is going to be a debug draw. Whoops, hit the wrong button there. Uh, debug draw, and there should be a normal in here. Don't believe it's the uh, normal buffer. All right, so in, in order to toggle it back, we're gonna again, we're gonna get the DM for a variable. That's just gonna be the debug draw that's currently active on our viewport. I'm gonna use a match statement for that DM, and we're gonna check if uh, that matches viewport dot debug draw overdraw, which is our X ring. And if so, then we're gonna set. We're gonna get our viewport and the debug draw, and we're gonna set that to viewport dot debug underscore draw underscore disabled and now we can do the same thing for our second option here now we could just do an underscore and that would cat be our catch-all that's a default a wild card so it basically says if it doesn't match any of the above options then run this code alternatively if we don't want to use wild cards we could just match it to debug draw disable And then all we have to do is take that line that we had initially and tab it inside, all right? With two tabs, one to get it inside the match, and then again to put it inside of the actual option here. So now when we hit the X key, we're gonna see what mode we're in. If we're in debug draw disabled mode, which we will be to begin with, then we're gonna set ourselves to overdraw for that X-ray mode. And if we are in X-ray mode, with that overdraw, then we're gonna set the debug draw disabled so that we can get back to our normal view. So we can go ahead and take a look. Look, everything's fine, we hit X. Oh, there we go, we can now see through everything, no matter how far in that we get. And we hit X again, and we go back to normal. Now, this, if you're gonna put this as like a gameplay mechanic, this is very powerful, and as such, you probably want to have some kind of negative to it. And what I would see for this would be the uh, the camera distance for this. So I'll go ahead and just create two variables here. Uh, default distance, which is 4,000. There we go, and I'll say uh, x-ray distance, and I'll set that to 15. All right, so now when we match our disabled option and we want to turn x-ray vision on, uh, we have to get a hold of our camera, and do I have that already? I have the camera origin, so my pivot for the, in this case, okay. So I'll go ahead and skip my camera. So var cam going to be a camera 3D and I'll set that to pivot dot get node. And let's, let me scoot that over real quick. So it's going to be our, whoops. Spring arm 3D slash camera 3D. And now that we have the camera, we can go ahead and set cam dot bar equals x ray distance. And we can go ahead and copy those two lines and just put them above. Now, obviously, we don't want the x ray distance, we want the default. Distance set back in there. So default distance. 
for when we change back. And now when we play it, we can see we have normal view. We hit x-ray. Now you can see we have that limit as to how far we can actually see uh, when we turn this on. So we can kind of balance that out since this is uh, kind of powerful if you're going to be able to see through walls. Some kind of limit is probably a good thing. And you can see we can't see any of that now. And once we toggle back, we go back to the default distance of 4000 and we can see everything again. So hopefully that uh, is clear and that wasn't too confusing for you. But there you go. There's how we can create an x-ray mode. And again, we don't have to use it for x-ray. We could use it for uh, creating an x-ray uh, texture. We can use it for the x-ray vision like we saw here. You could use it for a planning screen when looking at a bunch of buildings if you're making a tactical game or something. But all right, that's it for this one. Take care, have yourselves a good one, and I'll see you guys next time.